see it. So this video is going to walk through and kind of just show how I set up my prayer journal. Um, we've I showed it probably gone through really quickly, but just going to kind of show how mine is set up because I do get that question often. So um, first, and if there's anything extra from the studio, I will also like show you that too. But first I have just the cover. I've got the like intro page, rewrite a prayer, and then I have the prayer tab. And then I just have past months. So um, I have May, June, July, August, you know, so like these are all my prayers. I have some praise pages. So all the past months go right behind there. And then I have the prayer journal prep page, which is from the studio. I have the dashboard and I just put some art prints on it typically. And then I have the weekly guide. And then this starts my month, so the current month. So this is for September, as you can see. So I always have the, um, or not always, I but sometimes I do my like goals and intention page. So, and just write some notes. Um, and then I just have it set up as it is kind of, so I'm sorry, I'm just trying to cover my family's prayer. So um, there's, so the first page and then it's got the friends and then it's got my, um, you know, kids. And then it's got, I do these, um, let me show you, I do these pages a lot. So I have um, my kids and then I have like my heart, motherhood, my business, um, and then my husband, marriage, and my home. And then on the back side, I have, let's see, I have like a one called Big Prayer. I have one called Children. Um, right now I'm babysitting my nieces and nephews. Sorry, just kidding. I just have nieces. My nieces. Um, so I have like three kids under three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And so I just been writing, I put like a children's sticker and I've just been writing prayers for them there. And then I have the battle is yours there. Um, and then I have one of these pages and then I have this other side. Um, so I can fill that out. And then after that, I have the who he is um, divider. This is usually in my other binder. I put it here because when I am doing this um, for this pray section, I use um, I use this page. So last month I focused on refuge. So every time I decided to do that pray section, I would come here and talk to God about how he's a refuge. I'd pick out a few verses. Um, this month we have a new one in the studio, holy, about how God is holy. So I will be using this. Um, but let me go back. So I have the who he is divider. And then I have the names of God page. And then I have the holy page, the refuge page from last month. And then this was from a few months ago, but just has all the attributes of God and just some verses. And then after that, I just have this section that just has a bunch of stuff for next month. So I have some extra ones of these. Um, this will be for October. I have October ready. And then I have this ready for October and this ready for October. So once um, September is done, all I do is I just move this divider and this and I move it, you know, um, move the September section here and I'll move October so it's easy to like flip to. So these are just, again, bunch of blank pages. Um, I just have some extra of these if I need them. I have some extra of the pour out your spirit page if I want to use that. So I can always come here and grab it and then put it into the current month. And then I have the war room section and I have the dividers. These are from the studio. So I have my heart and then it has my war room prayers for my heart page. And then I have prayer for my heart, which is from the studio. And then I got the God's word divider and the war room prayers for God's word, and then this prayer for God's word, and then marriage, and this page, and then I put the calendar, and then husband, I've got the husband page, children, children page. Um, this is uh, something that Laura Whiffler came up with, and 
she had a big list and she had said, oh, if anyone is wanted to, you know, put it into like a PDF. So I put it into a PDF. I'll probably put this on that blog post that I shared it um, because I made it into A5 so I could just have it right behind the children section. And then I have the prayers for children and then I have home and then prayers for home, words, prayers for words, anxiety. I have the little anxiety insert, anxiety page, prayers for anxiety calendar, identity, identity page um, and then I have declared truth about my identity victory page and I have the armor of God and patience uh, the battle is yours um, I put the attributes of God page this is my big section um, and then I have my business um, yeah I just wrote down a bunch of people that are doing the prayer course the journaling course I wrote their names down uh, the count content page and then I just have a blank page if I need that and then I have gratitude so I've got my gratitude pages all through here I have another dashboard with just some pictures and that kind of marks my place so when I'm coming here I can just flip open and then that's my space and then that is it for my prayer journal so I have some blank gratitude pages I put a dashboard in the back because I just feel like it makes everything lay better um so that's my prayer journal. I have moved my declare truth section. So if you have my prayer journal, you do get a declare truth section. I have moved my declare truth sections to my Bible binders. So my binders that have the Bible books of the Bible dividers, I have moved declare truth there. Um, because I love declaring truth, but declaring truth isn't really praying. It doesn't really, um, I guess it's fine if you have it in your prayer journal. I'm adding a lot of stuff in here, so it's getting kind of tight. And when I declare truth, it's more of like I'm studying the Bible. So I moved that to my Bible um, binders, and um, this is what I have in here. So just the prayer, row room, gratitude, and I did add the who he is. Um, okay, I think that's it.